What is up YouTube? It is your boy Nismocab and I got another video for you guys today. Today we're going to be tackling that famous blind spot issue that 370Zs and the 350Zs have and I know it's horrible if you have a car you've probably complained about it because if something's in your blind spot you don't see it that's how you get an accident. It sucks when you're backing up in the car because you can't see anything and if you got limo tints forget about it. But I went ahead and got something from Japan from Kami Speed. I think that's how you pronounce it. Link will be in the description. Shout out to these guys because they make something for all you Z guys and probably the G's as well that if you struggle with these blind spots, this is gonna help you out a lot. And I'm not talking about those little circle mirrors add on, that you add on to the side mirrors. This is a whole new lens. This is gonna change the game. So let's get to unboxing this and we'll pick it up from there. Okay guys, so this is a direct replacement lens for your 370Z side mirror. So what this pretty much is gonna do is, you're gonna use the attached 3M and the supplied that's right there to attach it to the mirror on the side. And so this pretty much is a different angle lens which gives you wide angle, so you have more field of view. So it'll ideally pretty much get rid of all the blind spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one side on the car so we can compare and contrast so you can see how much you see before and how much you see after. And then from there you guys can decide if you wanna pick one up for yourself. So let's get to it. Hey guys. So we are currently in my car and I'm holding the wide angle lens. So from here you can see what I see. So I have to angle the mirror completely inwards in order to be able to see that. I can't see anything down. I have to, from my point of view, this is what I see from the driver's side. So I do have a bit of a blind spot and so I'm pretty much gonna do this before and after once I have the new lens on. And then from there we can compare so you guys can see what a difference it makes. But once again, like I said, all it is is double-sided tape that we're going to be putting on. So I'll give you guys a time lapse. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and use Rev Auto's glass cleaner real quick. Spray this. Okay, went ahead and wiped everything down. Put two layers of 3M right here that was supplied. Peel off the back tabbing and then from there we're just going to throw it on. It matches the groove perfectly. You can't even tell that it's an aftermarket lens once you have it on. You can't tell. Once again, I layered the inside portion of it just so that it would stick better. Apply some pressure, hold it. I wanna say for like a good five minutes to make sure the adhesive stuck well. And I'm gonna go inside the car and see if there's a big difference. Hey guys, moment of truth. You remember when I was here before, I couldn't really see much. Now, I see all that. So you guys, pretty much what I see out of this one. So as you can see the driver's side mirror, this is what I see. So we're gonna go ahead, compare this to when I have the wide angle lens. So we'll go ahead and pick it up from there. So remember what's in the field of view on this one. I can barely see the forerunner right there and I can't see at all the car. So we'll pick it up from there. Okay guys, so. You're going to want to repeat the same process using the Rev Auto glass cleaner. Discount code is in the description. Use VQ Kev, save 15%. So, I'm going to have to spray this down. And then, for this side, the driver's side mirror, what I did was they have supply extra 3M. So, I once again made this two layers here. So, it's double the layer thick here. And then they give you this extra adhesive pads. I put one on the outside and then put one more towards the inside just so that it would sit more flush. So now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead, peel the back side off, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it on. All right guys, once again, once you have it on, you can't even tell it's an aftermarket lens. My recommendation, even though this is a, almost like a direct fit, I recommend you start with the inside first when you layer it in and then from there lay it flat and then it'll contour perfectly to the curves. So now let me go inside the car so we can compare the angle and how much more we see. Okay guys, you remember before we could barely see the end of the tail light of my forerunner. Now look, we see 
pretty much all the, almost the whole back side of the forerunner where the passenger would sit and even more we even see a piece of the car so this is crazy keep in mind i when i put it on i did not bend or move the angle of the lens where it was already sitting so this is just showing the pure difference of the wide angle lens versus the stock one So this one, totally worth it in my opinion because not only do you have more field of view, but also comes with the bluish tint, which helps reduce glares at night from all those crazy guys running the HIDs. Super helpful, highly recommend it. I'm going to leave the link to this in my description along with my review of it if you guys are trying to get a pair for yourselves. Once again, highly recommend them. You can use VQ underscore Kev. Save yourself some 10% at checkout wrap it up for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed it hope this helps you guys in the future if you are trying to get rid of those annoying blind spots definitely hit up cami speed order a set of those zoom mirrors because they're spicy and they put in some work get rid of the blind spots completely once again guys thanks for tuning in stay posted for more videos peace out